What's up guys? Welcome to the channel again. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hey listen, uh, I'm out here at a very special spot. Um, if you know, you know, but as soon as I introduce you to some of the diggers out here, those of you that have been out here are gonna know exactly where I am. Got Alex from MTV Alliance. We've got Paul. So, and we've Dennis, got Dennis, Dennis, yeah. Dennis, one of the new diggers. So I think you guys know exactly where I am. I'm super grateful to finally meet these guys. I, I've been following Alex and the MTV Alliance for like since I started Instagram and uh, they do an incredible job out here. These jumps are built just like so well, like park style jumps. So we got a good group out here today, a bunch of senders. Uh, I'm looking to hit the canyon gap today, but it's gonna be a ton of fun. But anyway, so grateful for, for you, Alex, your team. You guys do such amazing work out here and it's an inspiration, it really is. Do it. So, all right, we're gonna start the session in the top part and uh, we'll see you guys on the trail. Alex and the crew, Paul and them, are busy kind of clearing out the, the stuff up here. So <clears throat> we're earning our keep. There's Adam sweeping away and uh, he's gotta earn it. No dig, no ride. No dig, no ride. But these guys uh, are cleaning out the stop section and getting ready for um, a nice ride season. But our group kind of got broken up um, just because some people are on e-bikes and other people stopped to session things on the way up. Um, but Adam and I are going to session the second section. Uh, they've finished cleaning that up. They're still working on the top one, but they'll be done pretty soon. So we're just gonna warm up a little bit and um, get, I'll get a little bit of footage of that. Okay. Get hold of it. <laughs> I don't remember any of this stuff. <laughs> I think we've gone too far. You can follow me. Okay. I hit everything. I got up on the track. I've never been here before, so. Oh, okay. And he's already riding it like he owns the place. Man, that's a sender. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> Were you pretty close with me? Yeah, I was right behind oh, you. Good. I, and I'm not sure if I lost you or not. It was so much better because like just following your speed, I was able to hit You're everything. You're like, all right. Yeah. If I have speed, yeah, I got you. Oh, I ate it, dude. You ate it? Oh no. It's good for you, dude. Oh no. Dude, that's a pretty gnarly ding. Had to come use the facilities by this tranquil creek. Take a no, video no, no, on no, the no, first <laughs> Oh, 
Oh crap, my motor's off, dude. What happened? Kind of broke. Kind of broke in the... Uh, oh, dude. Pedal broke? Yeah, You have a first aid kit, Adam? You do? Yeah. Um, I can go down and get it. Which one's your truck? Or do you want to take my bike? Yeah. Go ahead. So we just had an unfortunate situation happen. Um, one of the guys that was riding with us, he's Steezy Danny, I think, on Instagram. Um, he was clipped in and he was doing the top section. And right before he went off kind of the last lip, um, his foot just like, his pedal just came off of the spindle and just like tore a huge gash in his shin. And it's unfortunate we have somebody I lent my e-bike so somebody can go down and get a bandage so he can bandage himself up and get down the mountain because uh, it's a pretty gnarly gash. Um, so it really sucks when something like this happens. Same thing with the canyon. Luckily we've got a nurse on the trail here. How are you feeling Danny? He said, he said he's ready to hit Papo. Oh my gosh, that's a bummer. So yeah, here's the here's the the carnage. Yeah, it's all. This is the uh, the, the pedal. The only thing that's left there is the the spindle. And if you look at the bottom of his shoe, it's still got the pedal just stuck to it. That's a special feature. That's a special feature for the. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that looks gnarly, dude. Jair, the hero of the day, he rode all the way down this mountain, came back up with a, a bandage. Hold on, hold on, yeah, yeah. Let the nurse do it. Don't let that blood dry on there. That's gonna be a pain to get yeah. off. Yeah. Hot water. Can someone lift his uh, feet up? His abs aren't broken. <laughs> <laughs> this is guys what you call the figure eight, okay? Oh, I've had to do that to my ankles a couple times. <laughs> oh, what happened? <laughs> Not too tight. Uh, Are you sure? Because if I had it too tight, your, your yeah. blood yeah. core is gonna. Yeah. They won't have to cut off your foot. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like They're gonna fun. have gangrene. I'll be, I'll be a Paralympics. <laughs> take over the world. Uh, yeah, we're going, we're going up to the Trump wall, and then we're gonna stop. I have to speed check on that one. Yeah, this is as far as we got. Nice. Whoa, that's... <laughs> Safe. Yeah, that one was kind of sketch and then I didn't think I had the speed. Uh, uh, going to watch. He's going to hit that.
Heck yeah. Three. Yeah, and see these kinds of things sketch me out. To the left sketches me out. I can go right all day. But I think I'm just gonna go straight off of this. Yeah. Go? But like after this section, are we gonna yeah, go gonna up to the chump wall? You're not coming back up here, right? Yeah. Got it. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ready. So after we drop over there, that's where the step up is, right? So, yeah, you do this and honestly, does this set you up for all the bigger stuff down there or no? So yeah, there's a step up basically from where I am. I can kind of see the lip of it, but um... Is it a big one or? It's a good size. I, I would look at it. <laughs> So I've seen people just like fly into the side of this wall, right? And you can tell like people landing over there. Well, yeah, because this isn't that big of a gap. Yeah, this isn't that big of a gap. But you've seen people fly past. Well, the like they'll land and it's like they can't make this turn and they're like crashing into the side of this thing. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. You! Are you ready? Ready. Drop it. Oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah. So that's exactly what I've seen people do. No, the problem was like the, the drop kind of sketched me out and I didn't feel like I had enough speed. So I yanked. And I couldn't correct when I landed because I landed back tire first. Okay, so I kind of bent my bars a bit after that last uh, spill. So we just took care of that. And check out this gash right here, just above my stanchions. I almost took a big gash out of my fork stanchions. That would have been really bad. <laughs> I can't like, I can't seem to go this way. Well, if, uh, if you hit the jump really good, but I think you're so focused on the jump that you're not remembering how I have to turn. You're going pretty fast too. If you're you're, you're good. good. Go a little bit slower. Too much speed? No, I mean you're you're good, but you're so focused on this jump that you're not I think remembering the turn. One, one less crank. Yoo! Nice. There we go. Okay, jumping. She did the drop. You okay? She just excited. All right. Yeah. <laughs> she just died. <laughs> drop in. Someone's dropping. Send it, send it, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the runway for today. I told you. <laughs> Good thing you washed out all the rocks already. <laughs> okay, so let's go up and hit this section and we'll see how it goes. Then we'll do it again. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna just send it. <laughs> but you can turn off, you don't, you, you wanna hit this one in front of it. Yeah, that, cause that's a big one too. We gotta make sure that we clear that. It felt really good coming off of that thing. Like you have yeah. a ton of speed. Yeah, and I would even get an extra pedal or two just for safety. Cause again, you can't land too deep and fuck up on this one. The landings, the whole thing's flat. Yeah. Well, that's what I came to do today. Where's it going? All three of us, the four of us? 
Here we go. Did you see that? Yeah. I landed so far down. Oh there. my gosh. Yeah, really. Whew. I thought we could see where I landed. I'd rather tow you guys in deep and dial it. Oh, back. absolutely. Dude, Brock, thank you so much. Yeah, dude. That thing has been on my mind for years. Super chill, huh? <laughs> this one, like I really felt like the rug got pulled out under me. Like I was expecting a pop and I just kind of went straight out. I popped a little bit. I gave a little bit of a... I, I think it's just safe to pop. Yeah. Adam, followed by Matt. This is Matt's first time. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> he sailed over it, dude! You know what? On a jump like this, that's, that's not bad. You want to make sure that you're going to yeah, clear your front wheel. I didn't know if you were just hitting there and needed a tow. <laughs> All right guys, so I've run out of battery. I'm uh, resorting to my phone now, but uh, Brock's gonna hit this uh, this FAFO 40 footer and then we, we gotta take off. So for reference, there's the lip. It's kind of hard to see because of all this overgrowth, but there's the landing. Here it comes. Wow. <laughs> With the suey no-hander. <laughs> Okay, fresh battery in here. Too bad the ride's done. Adam, impressions? It was dope. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. This place is uh, definitely like right up Adam's alley. For me, it's like right on the edge of like my skill level. I feel like I'm always kind of pushing it here. But uh, that's it, we gotta get back. Super stoked for everybody that came out. Unfortunately, we didn't really connect with the IEMTB guys and Fabian. They were ahead of us by an hour and they had already done all the stuff that at the top. So they had moved on, uh, but that's cool. Looking forward to see if Vic hit the canyon gap as well. And uh, I'm super stoked on that. Uh, I felt like even the victory was rushed because we just got to get down back home. But I am just very, very satisfied. That's what I came here to do. And I didn't think I was gonna have enough time to mentally prepare. And honestly, if Adam wasn't here, I don't think I would have done it. He's just like, if I'm doing it, you're doing it. And after that first run in, it felt really good speed wise. So we went back up and then Brock joined us and then it was just this train and um, just went for it. And it was, it's actually really, really smooth. You just need speed like it Brock was saying. It runs really well. Yeah, it does run well. It's and then uh, Brock it, did the FAFL. With all the speed you need. It does. If you hit every jump before it right, and then you even crank a few out before the gap, you're, Definitely you're fine. So really, really good stuff. Super stoked to finally meet Alex. Also uh, met Steezy Danny, uh, some of the other builders out here. So grateful for them and everything that they do. This place just runs like a, like a park. It's really, really fun. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Um, hit that like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I appreciate you guys, uh, all your support, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, out.